set up properly. starting to feel better. I may have accidentally broke my stuff because I can't hear anything anymore. Uh... Self-voicing enabled. On. On selected. Return. Quit. Enter. I think I did an uh oh, I can't hear the game. Oh, what have I done? Oh, you, you hear the game? As long as you guys can hear it, I suppose it's fine. <laughs> so I, I won't be able to react to it. <laughs> well, let me see if I can fix that quick. Hmm. Well, I could just do the ultimatum and do uh, that. And now things are black. Try. Oh, never mind. I think I know why I don't have sound. I'm a dum dum. Yep, that's it. I'm fixing it very slowly. Kind of forgot that. Uh... Oh, self voicing. Nice. Now I can hear it. There we go, I think we got everything. Yeah, the streamer scuff, it definitely hits... It's only my second stream, so... Hopefully it's a little better. <clears throat> but... Let's see here, I think... I might have another uh-oh. Let me see if I can fix that quick. Uh, let's see...
You know what, you are totally right. I probably should change what game I'm playing, huh? <laughs> I forgot about that. It should be fixed now, hopefully. This time I think it should. <clears throat> yeah, we're getting all the scuff today. Hey, Daichi, my man, my my man behind the scenes. Do you know how to make it so that my OBS will show my cursor? <laughs> yeah, you streamed uh, Pokemon on the Fortnite tag. <laughs> What's funny is this is the same game I played when the first time I tried to stream. There's got to be a setting in here somewhere on how to get the cursor to show. Thought it was in general. Eh, it's whatever. I'll figure it out another time. Oh, did you? Oh, maybe it's just me then. Enter. Well, we're gonna enter. We'll get started. Your song. Welcome to Bad End the. Welcome to Bad End Theater. Okay, I don't like that voice. Self voicing disabled. <laughs> we're getting rid of that now. Welcome to Bad End Theater. On this stage, we shall be toying with fate. Oh, I can see it now. I just. I've got a very jank setup, Daichi. <laughs> if only you could see it, you'd probably laugh. You will make many choices, unlocking darker and darker paths, all in order to witness a lovely variety of tragic events. But first, allow me to explain how this works, Daichi. To begin the tutorial, select whichever doll you would like. So what do you think, Daichi? Should be be normal or should we get be like a more demon look? I mean, yeah. Most setups are pretty uh, iffy. Demon, huh? Okay. You control the demon doll. You're a fierce looking guy. Just minding your own business. How will you interact with the human doll? Who knows? We want to be nice and be wicked, or, or we want to. Sorry, I said that backwards. We want to attack it and be wicked, or play nice. Yeah, we'll be nice. You try to make friends with the human doll, but it kills you in cold blood. How ruthless! I can't believe you, Daichi, you let us die. You found your very first bad ending, but don't worry, the story needs not end here. Let's reset the stage and try again. This time, try controlling the other doll. I don't know, this is kind of like the Stanley Parable, we get to choose if we want to listen or not. <laughs> you still want to be a demon? a demon still. <laughs> Go ahead and try playing as the human doll this time. I guess there is no choice. What free will anyway? You control the human doll. You're a friendly little guy. Just minding your own business. How will you interact with the demon doll? 
I don't know, should we attack it? Like how it attacked us, or should we play nice? <clears throat> we could change how they react. Mm. Ooh, excuse me. Yeah, that's basically what this entire game is. It's redoing things over and over again. But you get to change the outcome of what certain people do. Because you're trying to find a quote-unquote good ending in this game full of only bad endings. So let's play nice. You and the demon doll are able to set aside your differences and become friends. Yeah, it's... I've played this game once before. I don't remember everything I did because I lost my save file, but uh, usually if you try to be nice, something bad happens. <laughs> Why, this isn't a bad ending at all. I should have written out the other possibility. This is not suited to my theater whatsoever. Now that you know how the story goes, you can set the doll's behavior in advance. As you just saw, these behaviors will automatically be set to whatever you choose during your last playthrough. But now, you can turn each one on or off without a replay from the doll's perspective. Yes, my theater actually doubles as a puzzle game. Now, try turning the doll's behavior on and off to see the different outcomes. <clears throat> but what if we make the demon wicked and we don't? We'll play nice. You try to make friends with the demon doll, but it kills you. End of the tutorial. That's it. We're done. Yes, I understand how to play. Please. Okay. So now we're getting into the meat and potatoes of this. <clears throat> so... We've got four different people to play, the hero, the maiden, an underling, and the overlord. And I think this up here is supposed to be the different endings, so I think there's 41 endings, if I'm correct, plus one extra. What is this? Oh, yeah. There's lots of different things here. Whoops, don't want to do that. No. If I knew how to do a poll, I would do that, but it's only you, Daichi, I believe, so... What do you think we should do first? I've already played most of these people. Like the pink lady, the overlord. Whoops, wrong button. We can do the overlord, no problem. You are the overlord. You live in a castle surrounded by demon servants. It's a pretty cushy life, you think? Except for those pesky humans who keep killing members of your army. There's even a role called hero whose whole purpose in life is just to dethrone you. What's their deal anyway? You've actively avoided pissing off the humans and hope they'd leave you alone. And your army. They never do. You're still new to the whole overlord thing. If you're being quite honest with yourself, you don't really understand the politics of it. But you remind yourself everyone is just doing their best to fulfill their roles. You won't let them bait you into being the evil overlord they expect. You think you're pretty cool and mature to hold yourself to the higher standard like that. One of your underlings walks into your room, totally interrupting your thoughts about how awesome you are. They're saying something about how boring it is to stand in one place guarding the castle all the time. Especially since no one ever comes here anyway. 
You see their point, but the way they're whining about it is kind of bothers you. What to do with this underling? So what do you think, Daichi? Should we be a tyrant and tell them to get back to work? Or should we be nice and grant them the day off? Both have their pros and cons. I mean, as they said before, it's so boring standing here when no one shows up. But at the same time, they have a duty to fulfill. You know what, you're right, Daichi. We do have to show some authority. So we tell them to get back to work. You give them a lecture about responsibility and unquestioning obedience. Your servants ought to not do what they're told, whether they like it or not. They look really unhappy with you, but you're sure they'll thank you for this later. Venturing too far from the castle tends to lead to spell death. You dismiss the underling and lie down in your nice and comfy overlord bed. All that lecturing made you want to take a nap. You fall asleep pretty quick. Just another one of your amazing talents as the overlord. You awake to a huge commotion outside. A hero has shown up and started totally murdering your soldiers. What the hell, guy? You rush out onto the battlefield to confront this jackward. You curse at him and very rudely inquire his reasons for doing all this. The hero yells at you, demanding you to return the maiden. You're holding captive. You don't know what he's talking about, but you can't forgive his actions. You do battle with the hero, but he was grown strong from cutting down your army. You are unable to defeat him. With decisive swings, he stabs and cuts you to pieces. You fall. You have failed your subjects. You spit curses weakly. You wish you'd been stronger. Maybe you were never suited to be the overlord in the first place. The truth was, you were never that much more powerful than the demons who served you. It was the title, the control, that gave you strength. These are your thoughts as you are swallowed by darkness. <clears throat> we have the Conquered Overlord ending. How fun, we have our first bad ending. Best part is, I don't even know if I ever got that one. <laughs> so, so, now we unlocked a little thingy here for Tyrant since we choose that one choice to make him get back to work. So basically, the more you do this, you'll get more options and even more and more stuff. So since the hero killed us, why don't we play as the hero to make him not kill us? You are a hero. You like to think of yourself as a pretty reliable and swell guy. Your life has been rather ordinary, aside from the occasional hero adventures, fighting evil monsters and whatnot. You are told a maiden from your village has been kidnapped, and is likely being held captive at the nearby demon lord's castle. Who even puts a village right next to where an entire demon army hangs out? You don't get it. You're happy to pre protect the townspeople, though. You were born to play this role. You head off on your adventure to rescue the maiden. But demon soldiers block your path. You could kill them to gain experience. So we could bravely slaughter the evil creatures or flee like a coward. It's really up to us if you think about it, Daichi. We don't have to go after them. But at the same time, they're causing a threat. You never know when they'll get the merchants.
I also like how this is probably the only game I'll be able to stream with my horrible internet right now that doesn't look bad because it's already naturally pixelated. <laughs> Let's see here. You feel like a coward? We can flee. Forgetting your pride, you escape with your life. You can't return home now. Your reputation will be ruined. I wonder how you'll be able to rescue that maiden all on your own. You can't even fight some lousy demon underlings. You'll take your chances at the castle. You're a hero after all, and this is your job. Yeah, I hope it looks good. It's a naturally pixelated game with not much movement, so it should work just fine. <clears throat> after a long trek, you made it to the castle's front gates. You're faced with an army of demons that all look very intimidating. There's no way to sneak past these monsters if you want to reach the Overlord. Let's see, what should we do? Cut through the demon army and be dutiful? Or ask if they'll let you in and be diplomatic? We're already a coward before, so I think we should probably just ask him if they'll let us in. Cause I don't know if we'll be able to cut him down. Yeah, we'll just ask. You go up to the nearest demon and explain why you've come here. They stare you down and you feel very uncomfortable. But they seem to trust you and escort you directly to the Overlord's chambers. That was easy. The Overlord is alone. You ask about the Maiden, but the Overlord doesn't seem to know what you're talking about. Was she really never here? You wonder what could have happened to her. The Overlord says she wishes she could help you, but you're the first human that's come here in forever. At least, that she knows of. I love this little pixelated thing like, I don't know, why are you asking me? <laughs> you think of how you probably shouldn't trust her, seeing as she's a demon and all. You can't really prove she's lying either. You apologize for the intrusion and return home to your village. The maiden was never found. The useless hero ending. Amazing. Yeah, they seem pretty reasonable. So now we can be dutiful or diplomatic in those choices there. Let's see, who do you think we should go for next, Daichi? Oh boy, you want to see what happened to the Maiden? Are you sure you don't want to check someone else out first? You might not like what happened to the Maiden. But, since you're so curious, I could do the Maiden if you wanted. <laughs> I'll just say this. There's a certain person we haven't played yet, and if you play that person, you might see what happened to the Maiden. <laughs> so what would you like to do, Daichi, with that information now in your mind? <laughs> <laughs> the gremlin underling with his little smug smile. This is Kage's smile incarnate. You are a demon underling in service of the Overlord. You aren't particularly strong, but you're not particularly weak either. That's what your friends tell you. Your job is to guard the castle and keep humans away. It's unbelievably boring. He was rarely come here at all. To challenge the Overlord anyway. It's a lot of standing in one place staring at nothing. You feel like you're going to go crazy if you don't get a break. 
you decide to go to the Overlord for a day off. She gives you an earful about responsibility and unquestioning obedience. You wait for her to finish her lecture before returning to your post. What does she know about anyway? Who made her the boss of everyone? You complain about the Overlord to your friends. This guy's got like a, a smug smile too. He's like, yeah, tell us about it. We all know. <laughs> oh. They agree that she is not... S she is kind of a snob and totally deserves to be kicked off her throne. You only wanted to vent your frustrations, but the conversation somehow seemed to turn into an assassination plot. Now that's that's the way to go. If you don't like your boss, just get rid of him. Then you'll be the boss. That's how it works, right? <laughs> you should probably steer this in a responsible direction. Let's see. We can let's overthrow her and be disloyal, or let's not. What do you think, Daichi? <laughs> yeah, you, you should. That's how you can become your own boss, Daichi. <laughs> it couldn't be anything bad from killing the boss, possibly. Let's overthrow her, then. No! You're sick of this overload holding you and your friends back. You agree that it's time for a change of management. Your friends, su your friends suggest maybe you should be the new overlord. You like the sound of that. You announce your first act of rebellion is to take the day off like you wanted. Your friends aren't very impressed. Do you assure them you'll talk more about the assassination thing when you get back? which sa satisfies them. <laughs> you sneak out of the castle to have some fun. The change of atmosphere excites you. You spend some time rolling around in the grass, wild and free. As you make your way along the path to the nearby human village, you encounter a maiden. She seems very frightened and screams for a hero to come save her. You consider your options. We could gobble her up because we're hungry, or we could tell her to quit yelling. What do you think, Daichi? <clears throat> quit yelling. When the maiden realizes you're not going to hurt her, she regains her composure. Look at those two, nice smiling with each other. She now started talking to you like you're friends or something. You don't understand humans at all. You speak the same language, of course, which has always confused you. Because why is there conveniently only one language in this world? If demons and humans have independent societies, wouldn't it make more sense for them to each have their own language? The maiden is going on and on about some kind of destiny she's trying to fulfill. The bottom line, from what you gather, is that she wants you to take her to the Overlord. Sounds like it could be interesting. Besides, you have nothing better to do. Satisfied with your day out? You take the maiden back to the castle and present her to the Overlord. The Overlord asks where you found this maiden, knowing full well that you left the castle when you weren't supposed to. You apologize for disobeying her, but hope that the maiden is an interesting enough present that you may be forgiven. The Overlord nods and says everything's cool as long as you always listen to her from now on. What do you know? It's Happy Overlord. Rare occasion. You're impressed with what an easygoing boss she is. You mentioned how you can't believe you and your friends even considered overthrowing her. She glares at you as with a look, and you say, That was just a joke, of course. 
She smiles and dismisses you. You decide it's about time for a nap. You don't get to sleep long. Your friends wake you up. Rude. We know Daichi. It went back to being rude, just like you said. Can't believe them. Some friends they are waking us up when we're trying to sleep. Uh, if only they knew that we could have been sleeping, having some good dreams. One of them is stepping on you pretty hard. You ask them what their deal is. They say they're planning a whole revolution. They're gonna get rid of the current overlord and put a new ruler in place. They want to hear if you're in or out. And being a pretty lazy underling, you of course reply with... That sounds like a lot of trouble. How about we just skip it instead? Your friends question your loyalty to their cause. See, we could say, okay, let's kill the Overlord and be disloyal. Or She's not actually so bad, you guys. You know, Skull. <laughs> I wonder what happens there. <clears throat> what do you think, Daichi? We could try to overthrow. We could try to convince them. Well, if you can't pick, and we tried to be the, uh, we were going to overthrow them earlier, then I think we should try to do that then. Okay, let's kill the Overlord. <laughs> you tell them you were just joking, and clarify that you're totally in it to win it. They say you were always terrible with jokes. Whether or not you actually feel like killing the Overlord, you know how bad it's be to end up on the wrong side of things. And if this assassination deal doesn't pan out, you can always pretend you weren't innocent all along. But beneath your shield of fox confidence, you worry about what you're getting yourself dragged into. Your fellow friends outside the castle, you meet, or sorry, I can't speak today. You follow your friends outside the castle to talk more about the plan. You're curious if they have any idea what they want to go about this. They figured that they'd just lock her in a room and set it on fire. What a stupid plan. That could go wrong in so many ways. You realize your friends are just a bunch of directionless thugs. Useless without someone's guidance. Your guidance. There'd probably be casualties if you fought her head on. And while showy deaths make a revolution a heck of a lot more fun, it's probably the wrong way to go. Your friends agree and suggest that you play the assassin. You really didn't want it to come down to this. But you can't back down now. You'll have to be the one to assassinate the Overlord. Besides, no one else has any better ideas. Oh, excuse me. Making my throat sore. You and your friends turn to notice a pair of humans who have overheard the entire conversation. They take off into the castle. They head to the Overlord's room. Fuck. The Overlord will kill you for sure if they find out that you were conspiring to take her out. You dash into the castle after the humans. Sure enough, the Maiden's already frantically telling the Overlord everything. You shout that the humans are liars. Your friends soon arrive to back you up, except they don't. Instead, they blame the whole thing on you. They cried that it was all your idea. They were just going with the flow. Too scared to refuse your crazy plan. You can't believe they'd tell the Overlord such a blatant lie. You always knew better than to trust them. You're the one who didn't have a choice here. 
You all shout at each other until the Overlord demands silence. Regardless of who led this conspiracy, I have no choice but to punish everyone to keep you all in place, crushed beneath my heel. She sounds tough, but lately all she does is sleep. You doubt her strength. You hear your traitorous friends mutter something about going back to Plan A and suddenly the door slams shut. You're trapped in here with the Overlord and the two humans. And then the room bursts into flames. You pound on the door, screaming curses at those who betrayed you. The hero joins you, vowing to slay the lot of them. You wish he'd get that chance. <laughs> mommy, sorry, mommy. Mommy, Overlord, sorry, mommy. <coughs> the, oh, <laughs> here's your mommy energy, <laughs> Daichi. The Overlord grabs you by the throat. You cry for mercy. You were forced into this mess. You're sure now that they would have killed you if you would have sided with her. But the Overlord doesn't hear your pleas. She drives her claws into your chest. At least she made it quick. The Traitor Underling Ending. <laughs> yeah. Hey, the the Overlord's pretty chill, man. Well, you didn't see the reason why the over the maiden goes missing, so we can do the maiden now, and I don't think it's gonna do the thing to show you why, so I think you'll be glad about that now. So <clears throat> You are a maiden. You live in a peaceful village next to a spooky demon overlord's castle. You are told that you are fated to be captured by the overlord one day. Because you are a beautiful young girl, demon lords apparently love capturing those. Think of how you haven't heard of that actually happening to anyone. But maybe the demons just haven't been given an opportunity? Who knows? You are in church. You pray to your god. Asking why you have to be born into this role of maiden. You respect the divine plan and all, but you're really just curious as to what the whole point of it is. You are impatient. We need like a Kage pouty face. This would be perfect in her chat. Especially when people are spamming bald Kage. <laughs> Meeting a demon actually sounds pretty gosh darn exciting. Maybe you'd understand your role better if you were to just hurry up and get captured already. You leave a note and venture forth to find a demon just to, you know, see what happens. Now long into your little adventure, and a demon underling appears before you. Looks pretty scary. So what should we do, Daichi? We could shout for the hero to come save us, or we could introduce ourselves and be polite. <laughs> Wrong, Daichi, why are you crying? I mean, okay, we can introduce ourselves. You tell the demon your name and explain that you're a maiden from the village. You tell him that you were thinking maybe you could understand your role better if you were to hurry up and get taken away by a demon already. The demon doesn't seem to ha really have been listening to you, which is a little irritating. Look at our little best boy underling just appreciating some flowers. They agree to take you to their master none of the less. After a long walk to the castle, you are introduced to the Overlord. She lectures the underling that brought you here, who was apparently told not to leave their post. You wonder what cruel punishment awaits them. But to your surprise, she lets them off easy. The underling is dismissed and the Overlord turns to you looking very interested. 
You explain why you'd come, and she squints at you. It turns out she never had any plans to capture maidens, or do anything else that would ag <clears throat> agitate the humans. You wonder for a moment if she might be lying, but it doesn't really seem like it. Still, it doesn't make any sense to you. You've always been told that demons would one day seek you out. Something awful would happen, and a hero would come to rescue. You don't want to believe you've been lied to all along. Maybe it's just that you haven't been maiden-like enough. You ask the Overlord what you should do to be more suitable maiden, but she doesn't seem to understand. Just go home and stop worrying about destiny so much. She makes it sound so simple. This Overlord seems like the complete opposite of you. You want to learn more about her and how she thinks. You insist on staying to talk with her more. The Overlord shares many stories about demons with you. And little by little, you realize they might not be the ruthless monsters you were raised to believe. As it turns out, she commanded her demons to avoid towns and villages. She didn't want to risk giving the humans any excuse to send a hero out after them. You realize that must be why you'd never heard of any demons attacking your town. You express your gratitude to the Overlord on behalf of your village. She says you can thank her by telling her, telling the humans to stop raising heroes. She's tired of her servants getting killed off by them. You've always thought demons were violent and unreasonable creatures, but it seems the Overlord could say the same of humans. See, we're not that different. You may be different. Okay, maybe I'm wrong. <laughs> but really, they're just trying to live their lives the same as you. You feel like... You're starting to understand things a lot better. But maybe everything I've said was to deceive you and the other humans. What would you do if I turned out to be super evil all along? Even if she were to capture you now, you think this is this place is far more interesting than the way things are back home. You kind of like not being told to expect demons to come after you all the time. You feel free. Honestly, you've always kept to yourself, but spreading spending time with the Overlord has been very nice. You feel butterflies in your stomach. As you think that, a hero enters the room. You're surprised to see him at first, until you realize he must have been sent to retrieve you. Confused, the hero asks, what, asks you what's going on. You explain the situation, reassuring him that you were never in any danger. The hero expresses his relief that the whole misunderstanding hadn't led to any horrible consequences. You apologize for causing trouble, but really... Didn't anyone read the note you left? Jeez. The hero asks if you'll return to the village with him to give everyone the news of your safety. The overlord allows the two of you to leave, and you give her a little wave as you exit the room. You'll be back soon. Near the castle's entrance, you spy a group of suspicious demons congregating. They're talking about assassinating the overlord. You have to warn her. But the hero shakes his head, and he says that if this is the true nature of demons, the world is better off with less of them. Oh, the hero's being cruel. This isn't right. You think what kind of hero passes up the chance to save a life? The demons have taken notice of you. It's now or never. You take off into the castle, and the unreliable hero follows shortly after you. You burst into the overlord's room, all your words spilling out at once. You should probably slow down, but there's no time. The Overlord seems to have followed your frantic explanation, but clearly doesn't understand the urgency of the situation. The underling you recognize from before barges in, calling you a liar. You're surprised that they were a part of this evil plot. It seems so nice. The other demons came in right after them, saying the whole thing was the first underling's idea. Everyone's shouting at each other now. Really stressing you out. You're relieved when the Overlord demands silence. 
She threatens them with violence, and you think she is very overlord-like in this moment. The group of demons hiss to each other before shutting the door, leaving the little one behind. You watch as it pounds on the door in distress. Have they locked you all in? You have a bad feeling about this. Hey, a Star Wars joke. And thinking that must have jinxed it, because now the room is engulfed in flames. Only you had ignored those demons before. You and the hero wouldn't have stumbled into this situation. If you had just pretended not to hear them, if you left as you were told, only the Overlord would have been killed. You couldn't have done that. That path isn't an option for you. You think that no matter what, you always strive for the path where everyone survives? It must exist. It simply must. The Overlord sees as her underling. They beg for their life. You pray. You don't know what else to do. So you just pray. The Overlord's claws pierce the underling's chest. They scream out an awful scream. She digs and twists her claws into the poor thing while you continue to pray. Or pray, sorry. I'm really bad at reading today. There's no saving any of you now. You, the Overlord, the Hero, and the Underling's corpse are all consumed by flames. <clears throat> we got the Devout Maiden ending. <clears throat> so we got four of the endings so far. Not doing too bad. Let's see. Who do you think we should do next? I don't think there's anyone left in chat, so we'll just pick one ourselves. So, let's do... <laughs> um... Well, Daichi, it's called Bad End Theater. It's all bad endings. I'll give you a hint, though. There is one good ending, technically. Need some water, let me grab that real quick. They're all good. My count must have been wrong, I was trying to check. Yes, technically. You have to do a lot of stuff to get that ending, so that's why I say technically. And it's... Let's just say it's not entire... Let's just say there is one good ending, okay? I think that sums it up nicely. It just doesn't have to do with any of these people. Let's see. Let us be the demon. So, we'll just skip, oh, let me, yeah, I was trying to check it on my phone quick, but I guess since, I don't know if m my account would technically count as someone watching it, so, that's why I was a little confused, I guess. Um, I will go back. Great, okay. So, <clears throat> let's not overthrow her. Did we do this? I don't remember. Yeah, we did. Yeah, so now we're... Oh, I hit the wrong button. I'm doing, like, all the wrong things right now. You know what? We should probably save at some point. So we'll save right there. But yes, technically, there is 
one good ending in here. So, the last time we said, let's overthrow her. There will always be one for me since sometimes streams have elements. If you have, like, hmm, I don't know about that. I guess I've never really messed with stuff like that, so. I do have a stream element, so. It would make sense if that was the case. Actually, she's not so bad, you guys. Excuse me. Your friends seem pretty disappointed. They apologize to you. But before you can ask what they're sorry about, one of them suddenly seizes you. Someone who's still loyal to the Overlord really has no place in our castle. You understand, right? Your claws tighten around your neck. You don't bother to struggle. You're outnumbered. You already know how things like this end. This is a pretty messed up thing to do to a friend, you tell them. They slit your throat in response. <laughs> Man, those were some friends, am I right, Daichi? <laughs> Oh, hey, Kage. Thanks for the follow. Welcome on in. Hey. Got the faithful underling end. How's it going, Kage? We were just talking about naps in this game a little bit ago. A little underling friend here wanted a little nap. So did the overlord. Yeah, we're playing a fun little game right now. <clears throat> so who do you guys think we should be next? They are adorable. They're pretty cute. He's got, like, Kage smug energy with his little smug smile. <clears throat> they're pretty cute. And since they're all pixelated, this is probably, like, the one game I can play where my stream will look okay. <laughs> <clears throat> so, who do you think we should do next, Kage? You get to choose next now. Little Kage smug, I love it. <clears throat> We've done a few of these people. We've done all of them at least once. Overlord? Okay, we can do that. You are the Overlord. You live in a castle surrounded by your demon servants. It's pretty cushy life. You think, at least. Except for those pesky humans who keep killing members of your army. <laughs> yeah, same brain cell. <laughs> There's even a role called Hero whose whole purpose is in life is just to dethrone you. This is Kage when she sees Game Master Mechin the ball of Kage. <laughs> What's their deal anyway? You've actively avoided pissing off the humans in hopes they'll leave you and your army alone. But they never do. You're still new to this whole overlord thing, if you're being quite honest with yourself. You don't really understand the politics of it. But you remind yourself everyone is just doing their best to fulfill their roles. You won't let them bait you into being the evil overlord they expect. You think you're pretty cool and mature to hold yourself to the higher standard like that? One of your underlings walks into your room, totally interrupting your thoughts about how awesome you are. They're saying something about how boring it is to stand in one place guarding the castle all the time, especially since no one ever comes here anyway. You see their point, but the way they're whining about it kind of bothers you. What to do with this underling? We're gonna give them the day off this time, since we told them to get back to work before. 
You tell them to go take a break some, from the stifling castle atmosphere and refresh their dark soul. A day off should be fine every once in a while. Good boss vibes right here. <laughs> also, Daichi, I don't know if you noticed yet, but uh, depending on what character we play, the color of everything will be different. So when we play the Overlord Thread, they thank you and happily scurry off to do who knows what. You have nothing better to do with today. You decide to nap for a little while. Being the Overlord sure is great. You wake to a knock at your door. The underling from earlier brought back some company. It's a maiden from the nearby human village. She says her role is to be captured by you. The maiden then goes on to say that she's been getting very important, impatient thinking about her impending capture. So she's come here to speed things along. You appreciate her honesty, but regret to inform her you never had any plans to capture any humans. She seems very disappointed by this. What do you think about that, Kage? Kage? The maiden actually wants to be captured. <laughs> Perhaps I'm not performing my role well enough? How can I become more maiden-like? <laughs> she kinda does. <laughs> yeah, she's got the Sundari vibes with the haircut. She doesn't really act like one all the time, though. You don't really understand the question. You think the world puts away, puts way too much focus on destiny and junk. Just go home and stop worrying about it, you tell her. The maiden seems to be having a hard time wrapping her head around this. She insists that she stays and talk to you more. At least she's got like the happy, like, excited to be with you smile. <laughs> yeah, sometimes we do want to be captured. You feel warm inside as she looks into your eyes. This is the first time a human has looked at you without contempt. Hey, we're getting our first Overlord love romance. <laughs> you wonder what to say. Tell her she better go home or let her stay a while. What do you think, guys? Do we want to be antisocial or do we want to let her stay? We can let her stay. You bring yourself to send. You can't bring yourself to send this maiden away. She just got here. Yeah, Kage beat you to it. <laughs> you enjoy a nice long chat with her, sharing stories about your kind. She expresses her surprise that demons are not at all what she expected them to be. You are glad that she seems to have an open mind about these kinds of things. You also bring up how you always instruct your army to avoid humans as not to agitate them and get heroes sent over after you. It explains why the people of my village haven't been or have been left unharmed. It's because of your orders, isn't it? We are very grateful. You're surprised to hear her thank you. You've always thought of humans to be violent and unreasonable. That's why your servants are always be getting killed despite your efforts to leave them alone. But this maiden is different. You joke that maybe you've been lying to her this whole time and that you were actually super evil all along. Dang, the overlord's got that riz going on right now. Rizzing up the maiden. <coughs> the maiden laughs at that, saying she wouldn't mind being held captive here. The people in her village are a little exhausting at times, she says. You can't tell if she's into you or not. <laughs> Told you. We got a love romance right here. This is going to be great. <laughs> you were interrupted by another human in your doorway. This time it's a hero. He was apparently searching for the maiden, who was rumored to have been captured by your kind. Captured? Not at all. I only wanted to meet with the Overlord. Didn't anyone read the note I left behind? 
After everything is explained, the hero expresses his relief that the whole misunderstanding hadn't led to any horrible consequences. The maiden apologized for causes, causing trouble, and the hero asked her to return to the village with him. Confusing feelings well up inside your heart. You're surprised that you had one of those to begin with. You don't want the hero to take this maiden away from you. Oh, here we go. Do we want to keep her here and be possessive? Or do we let them go? What do you think, guys? Should we keep our love hostage or let them go? <laughs> nah, she'll be back. Okay. That's a good point. Is it a hostage if she wants to be there? <laughs> We've got a split vote. Hold on, let us... Let us flip a coin. You guys won't be able to see it, but I'm gonna flip a coin. Actually, I might be able to show this. Let's just do a little bit of editing. Oops. Um. <clears throat> okay, we have a coin here. We're gonna flip this. I don't know why it's not flipping. Oh, I'm on the wrong thing. Here we go. You guys ready? We're flipping the coin. It's tails, so we'll go with the second option. We can get rid of this now. Uh-oh. Did I mess my OB? Oh, I messed it up. Oh boy. Oh no. Guff streamer moment. What am I doing? Whoops. I see what I did. There, we're all good. We're all good. We got this. Professional streamer here, guys. Come on. <clears throat> we'll let them go. You're certain that she'll return to spend more time with you? You just have to trust in that. You decide. With the hero and maiden gone, you pop down into the comfort of your luxurious overlord bed. Your room feels so empty now. Is this loneliness? You hope your new friend will be back soon? You close your eyes for a while. Until your dorm slams shut. Before you knew it, everything around you is being engulfed by flames. What's going on? You try to escape, but something's blocking the door. You're having trouble forcing it open. What is this? Someone didn't want you getting out. Are you being observed? Have they zero foresight? What castle will they rule if it, this one burns down? You don't want to believe that your underlings have betrayed you, but this is no accident. Those ungrateful bastards. You choke on the thick black smoke from the fire. You can't believe you're being done in by a bunch of cowards. You'll see them in hell. Oh, the burned overlord. She never got to find out if... Never got to find out if the maiden would come back. Yeah, so, <clears throat> the way this works, Kage, this is bad end theater. There's only bad endings here, and maybe one good ending. And basically, every time we go through, we get more options, depending on our choices. So we found six of the endings. Um, I think there's... Yeah, so we have, like, skill trees where we can find out which options we've done. <clears throat> So, excuse me. Yeah, we should have kept her there. We can try doing that. So, let us 
try to... We'll just go through it again, and we'll skip to that point. Okay, here we go. Just for you, Kage, we're gonna keep her. You don't want the hero to take this maiden away from you. I'm going to keep her here. The maiden came here to be captured by you, didn't she? You'll grant her wish. You tell the hero you don't want to let him take her home. The maiden assures you she'll be back, but you don't want you don't budge. <laughs> Very kinky indeed. <laughs> the hero is cautious now. If you won't let her go, maybe you demons are evil, after all. And if you are, I'll be forced to vanquish you. You have no choice. You destroyed the hero before he can steal your maiden away. She's frightened. You don't understand why. Didn't she say she prefers this place than her village? Now she doesn't have to leave. You take a step towards the maiden and she backs herself into a corner. Overlord turn into a yandere. <laughs> you don't understand. She wanted to stay here with you. The hero was trying to get in the way of that. You had to kill him. Either you'll be sure to keep this maiden very safe from now on. The Selfish Overlord End. We got the kinky ending. The Overlord got to keep her little pal. <clears throat> yeah. Let us do... Who do you want to do now, Kage? I think there's more stuff to do for the Overlord. But we have to affect some of the other people to get to some of those. Oops, don't want to exit the theater. <clears throat> so, we have the hero, the maiden, and the underling. Maiden? Yeah, those are all the branches, Daichi. So each hero has their own tree that you can follow. And some of the options depend on other people's choices before you can do things, so... will be the maiden. <coughs> Excuse me. You are a maiden. You live in a peaceful village next to a spooky demon overlord's castle. You are told that you are fated to be captured by the Overlord one day because you are a beautiful young girl. Demon Lords apparently love capturing those. You think of how you haven't heard of that actually happening to anyone. But maybe the demons just haven't been given the opportunity. Who knows? You are in church. You pray to your god, asking why you have to be born in this such of a role of maiden. You respect the divine teachings and all, but you're really curious as to what point of it is. You are impatient. Meeting a demon actually sounds pretty gosh darn exciting. Maybe you're, you'd are you understand your role better if you were to just hurry up and get captured already. Kage, I have a request for you now. I told this to Daichi earlier. I need like a Kage pouting like emote. It's perfect. Yeah, I, I need that pouting emote, it's vital. <laughs> you leave a note and venture forth to find a demon just to, you know, see what happens. Yeah, the one Stormy has. I don't know which one that is yet. I don't think I've seen that one. Not long into your little adventure, a demon underling appears before you. It looks pretty scary. What should we do? We introduced ourselves last time. Yeah, that one's pretty good, Kage. I like that. <laughs> I like the little huffing, like, uh, breaths at the end. What do you guys think we should do? We introduced ourselves last time. We 
could shout for a hero, or we could be polite and tell the demon our name. <laughs> we need a hero. You yell, but a hero does not come. The demon is put off by your sudden shouting and asks you to keep it down. You apologize. <laughs> they seem more confused than hostile, which totally catches you off guard. You tell the demon your name and explain that you're a maiden from the village. You tell them that you were thinking that maybe you could understand your role better if you were to hurry up and get taken away by the demon already. The demon doesn't seem to have really been listening, do you? Which is a little irritating. This is our bestest boy right here, just content with his little flower. They agree to take you to their master nonetheless. After a long walk to the castle, you are introduced to the overlord. You explain why you've come, and she squints at you. It turns out she never had any plans to capture maidens, or do anything else that would agitate the other humans. Nah, he's got to be strong, he's got to be fast, and he's got to be fresh for the fight. I can't sing very well because I don't remember that song off the top of my head. You wonder for a moment if she might be lying, but it doesn't seem like it. Still, this doesn't make any sense to you. You've always been told that demons would one day seek you out, and something awful would happen. Then a hero would come to your rescue. You don't want to believe you've been lied to all along. Maybe it's just that you haven't been maiden-like enough. You ask the overlord what you should do to be more suitable maiden, but she doesn't seem to understand. Just go home and stop worrying about destiny so much. She makes it sound so simple. This overlord seems like the complete opposite of you. You want to learn more about her and how she thinks. You insist on staying to talk with her more. The Overlord shares many stories about demons with you. And little by little, you realize they may not be the ruthless monsters you raised to believe. You do because it's on the cardio mix for the gym? <laughs> nice. Yeah, I, that's usually a pretty good song for uh, gyms. Daichi Nickelback started going off in my head. We went too deep. Hey, there's nothing wrong with Nickelback. I used to like Nickelback when I was a kid. I don't know if I quite like them anymore, but there's a few songs I still like. Uh. As it turns out, she commanded her demons to avoid towns and villages. She didn't want to risk giving the humans any excuse to send a hero after them. You realize that must be why you've never heard of any demons attacking your town. You express your gratitude to the Overlord on behalf of your village. <laughs> Wait, was that a Nickelback song that line was in? I'm so confused. I am also confused. I don't know. She says that you can thank her by telling the humans to stop raising heroes. She's tired of her sermon skin killed off by them. Oh, you didn't type it in correctly, but the tune was in your head? I've always thought demons were violent and unreasonable creatures, but it seems the Overlord could say the same of humans. You may be different, but really, they're just trying to live their lives the same as you. You feel like you're starting to understand things a lot better. But maybe everything I've said was to deceive you and the other humans. What would you do if I turned out to be super evil all along? Even if she were to capture you now, you think this place is far more interesting than the way things are back home. Yeah. <clears throat> yeah. They could say that. <clears throat> you kind of like not being told to expect demons to come after you all the time. You feel free. You're not going to stand here and wait. <laughs> Honestly, you've always kept to yourself, but spending time with this overlord has been very nice. You feel butterflies in your stomach. 
As you think that, a hero enters the room. We know, Kage, your hero's shown up. You're surprised to see him at first until you realize he must have been sent to retrieve you. Confused, the hero asks what you're, what's going on. You explain the situation, reassuring him that you were never in any danger. The hero expresses relief that the whole misunderstanding hadn't led to any horrible consequences. Demon, the overlord's just like, can you please leave? You're being a third wheel right now. <laughs> you apologize for causing trouble, but really, didn't anyone read the note you left? Jeez. The hero asks if you'll return to the village with him to give everyone the news of your safety. But the overlord objects to the hero's suggestion. You tell her you plan on returning soon, but she isn't having it. You feel nervous. The hero puts on a brave face for you. You won't let go. Maybe you demons are evil, after all. And if you are, I'll be forced to vanquish you. You leave me no choice. The overlord suddenly jumps the hero. She tears into him with her claws. You want to cry out, but the scream catches in your throat. You watch because you can't look away. <clears throat> Had she really been lying to you all along? You wonder, is this your punishment for questioning the divine plan? The overlord approaches you now. You back yourself into a corner. Her expression is complicated. Being captured by the overlord is a horrible way like this. <laughs> this was your destiny after all. Yeah. <clears throat> she vows to keep you very safe from now on. You're afraid to find out what that means, but there's no one left to save you. You belong to the Overlord now. Captured Maiden and A. Ouch. Yay. So... Let's try being the... Let me look at this. So I think that's the only way to do things currently, for the moment. Okay, so we did get the official bad end for that. I wonder, what else is there? Um, yeah. Yeah, the Overlord's a kinky person, Kage. They like their slaves. <laughs> Let's see here. Um, let's be the hero, maybe? Yeah, let's be the hero for now. You're the hero. You like to think of yourself as a pretty reliable and swell guy. Your life has been rather ordinary, aside from the occasional heroic adventures, fighting evil monsters and whatnot. You are told a maiden from your village has been kidnapped, and is likely being held captive at the nearby Demon Lord's castle. Who even puts a village right next to where an entire demon army hangs out? You don't get it. You're happy to protect the townspeople, though. You were born to play this role. You head off on your adventure to rescue the Maiden. But demon soldiers block your path. You could kill them to gain experience. Let's see, before, I think Daichi chose to flee like a coward. So we could do that again. Let's do that again and try to get his point of view, and then we can change it, so that way we have that ending marked off the book. Forgetting your pride, you escape with your life. But you can't return home now. Your reputation will be ruined. You wonder how you will ever be able to rescue that maiden all on your own. You can't even fight even a lousy demon underling. Yeah, I just realized... Why does he have a belt on his head? <laughs> uh-huh, sure, Daichi. I mean, Kage wasn't here for it, so as far as Kage knows, you weren't. But yeah, I don't know why he's got a belt on his head. He should just get a headband or something. It's 
not even holding his hair out of his face. You'll take your chances at the castle. You're a hero after all. This is your job. After a long trek, you make it to the castle's front gates. You're faced with an army of demons that are all very intimidating. Yeah, sometimes you gotta make do with what you got. <laughs> There's no way to sneak past the three monsters if you want to reach the Overlord. Sorry, that got me. <laughs> I'm sorry, I didn't see it that way, I guess. I just don't see why he has a belt on his head. <laughs> Let's see. Let's just ask if they'll let us in. You go up to the nearest demon and explain why you've come here. They stare you down and you feel very uncomfortable. But they seem to trust you, and escort you directly to the Overlord's chambers. That was easy. The Overlord and Maiden seem to have been in the middle of some casual conversation when you barge in. You will all look at each other in surprise and confusion. This is no time to hesitate. Ooh, we could destroy the Overlord or ask what the Maiden's doing. <laughs> what do you guys think? we ask what's going on, or should we kill the Overlord? Also, I guess the hero's color scheme is orange. The maiden's is blue. I think the underling was gray. I think. We could ask the Maiden what is going on, or we could slay the demon, the Overlord. Okay, have fun with your dinner, Daichi. Make sure you tell me what you had. <laughs> the belt was a family heirloom passed down the generations. Over the years, the purpose of it was lost until the hero found it in his grandpa's attic. Must be a headband, he says, as it was too small to fit around his waist. <laughs> That's amazing, Kage. <laughs> I mean, you're probably right, who knows? <laughs> That's pretty good. <clears throat> well, what do you think, Kage? I'll save real quick. <clears throat> What should we do? send hero? <laughs> okay. We'll destroy the Overlord. You lunge forward, driving your blade through the evil Overlord. She screams, then falls silent. The Overlord has been slain. You smile, offering the maid in your hand. She takes it, after slight hesitation. She must be surprised at how strong you are. You escort the maiden home. She's oddly quiet on the trek back to the village. She must be too shy to speak. The villagers are very pleased with what a good job you've done. Slaying the Overlord and saving a hostage, they throw a huge celebration in your name. You are remembered for generations as the greatest hero the village has ever seen. We are a triumphant hero. Well, you know, that's the first time we've gotten the maiden back to the village. <laughs> so let's see if we can skip that and get this. So we'll ask what's going on this time. The maiden explains that she was never actually captured and that she came here on her own volition. That was a pretty dangerous thing of her to do. But no one got hurt, so at least there's that. 
You asked her to return to town with you to reassure everyone of her safety. Excuse me. But the Overlord objects to this. The Bane tries to tell her that she'll come right back, but the Overlord refuses to hear it. The Maiden seems nervous. As a hero, it's your job to mediate situations like this. You tell the Overlord that if she doesn't let you two of you go, you'll have to assume that she's evil. You'll be forced to vanquish her. You leave me no choice. The Overlord pauses before suddenly jumping you. You are helpless as she disembowels you with her claws. How horrible. You came all this way, only to be met with this cruel fate. You should have destroyed these evil creatures while you had the chance. Your dying wish is for the main to somehow make it out of this alive. Nice. In all the endings. Should we be a full hero and just slay every demon on the way to the castle, Kage? <laughs> Cause it gives us an option to slaughter them. Okay. <laughs> we bravely slaughter these evil creatures. You make quick work of the vile creatures who stood in your way. You feel much stronger now. After a long trek, you make it to the castle's front gates. You are faced with an army of demons that all look very intimidating. There's no way to sneak past these monsters if you want to reach the Overlord. Ooh, we got another choice. We're gonna full send it, cut through them. You gather your courage. This is what must be done in order to rescue the Maiden. These are all evil demons anyway. The world is much safer with them gone. That's what you tell yourself while you kill one after the other on your way to the Overlord's chambers. You find the Maiden being held captive by the Overlord, just as you suspected. But for some reason, you can't sense anything sinister happening. You all look at each other in surprise and confusion. This is no time to hesitate. Ooh, we got another choice. You still want to full send it? I assume you do, since you want to be the hero. Okay. You lunge for driving your blade through the evil Overlord. She screams, then falls silent. The Overlord has been slain. You smile, offering the maid in your hand. She takes it after slight hesitation. She must be surprised at how strong you are. You escort the maiden home. She's oddly quiet on the trek back to the village. She must be too shy to speak. So it's basically the same as the other one. Okay. So my plan is to try to get all the endings today so I can complete this game. So let's see what we need to do next. Slaughters his way through the castle. So that's if he's hungry. So I think I need to change something with... The... Yeah, I know what to do for that. So if we make him hungry... Let's try this again. We'll just slay everyone. The Overlord appears demanding to know what the hell you're doing murdering all of her soldiers. You get straight to the point and ask her where the Maiden is. She feigns ignorance, a conceiving act, but you won't be fooled. If the Maiden isn't here, then what happened to her? You can see only one answer. The Overlord definitely captured her. In fact, it's possible she's already been devoured. Thinking about the poor man's fate fills you with hatred. You fight the Overlord with everything you've got. You become strong from the hordes of demons you've took down before this final battle. The Overlord is almost no match for you. You cut her to pieces. The Overlord has fallen. 
You breathe a sigh of relief, but your job is not just finished yet. You search the castle. Eh, I can't speak today. You search the castle. Unfortunately, you find no signs of the maiden within its walls. It's just as you suspected. She must have already been devoured. You feel hollow. A greed evil has been banished from the world. What does that matter if you were too weak to save someone? You stand alone amidst the carnage and ponder what it means to be a hero. You return to the overlord's remains and wrap her head in your cape to bring her to the village. Surely your great victory will be celebrated. Failed hero ending. Let me look at this. It's really hard to tell where certain things are here. So I slayed the demons there. He was hungry, so I got that branch. We find the maiden, and she's upset. Hero- Oh! That's interesting. We could make the hero apologize. Okay. <clears throat> so we'll kill these guys. Then we'll ask if they'll let us in after we killed the bunch. You tend to explain why you've come, but the monsters before you is eyeing you with suspicion. They can't help but notice the demon blood from earlier. You haven't had the chance to wash off yet. Whoops. You have no choice but to fight the army in self-defense. Oh well, more experience points for you. You make your way through the castle, fending off all the demons that stand in your way. The Overlord appears, demanding to know what the hell you're doing, murdering all her soldiers. You get straight to the point and ask her where the maiden is. She feigns ignorance, a conceiving act, but you won't be fooled. The maiden isn't here, what happened to her? You can only see one answer. The Overlord definitely captured her, in fact, it's possible she's already been devoured. Okay, so I think this might be the same ending. Yeah. Yeah. So I have a setting wrong somewhere. Uh, let's see here. <clears throat> what if we don't make him hungry? And then we do it, maybe? Um, yeah, I think that should be good. So, what happens if she does have the maiden, and then we kill, and then has to be let in? Okay. You find the maiden being held captive by the Overlord, just as you suspected. But for some reason, you can't sense anything sinister happening. You all look at each other, in surprise and confusion. This is no time to hesitate. We're gonna ask what's going on, I think. She explains that she came here on her own and was never in any danger. She hesitantly asks why you're covered in blood. You don't know how to respond. The Overlord moves past you and out the door to see her army in lifeless, bloody piles. She's wailing. It's horrible. This is your chance, hero. Oh. What do you want to do, Kage? Do we apologize or do we backstab her? I'll wait for you to respond. I'm gonna eat a cookie. Apologize? Okay. Got some nice molasses cookies here. Sugared molasses cookies. Mmm. You hope she'll let you this whole thing slide if you could just explain yourself. You really try, but the overlord is unconsolable. 
she tears you apart, and the maiden watches in silence. As you die, you can't help but think that you probably deserve this. Mmm, the tragic hero end. So we have 12 endings now. Okay, so the hero has 11 endings. So we have most of them for him, I think. Let's skip these. And then... We are going to slay her and be a true hero. You lunge forward, dragging your blade through the evil overlord. She screams, then falls silent. The overlord has been slain. Okay, so I think this is just a repeat. Yeah, it was. So... Well, if we make... The underling disloyal... We'll make... Hmm... We'll make the overlord a tyrant... But we'll not make her, um, possessive, I think. So, um, trying to get different endings, but I don't know what would be the best to do. We'll flee like a coward, and then, hmm, I don't know how I want to do this. I have no idea how to get the other endings. Hmm. Actually, I have an idea. So she kills us there when that happens. So, let us please the overlord for that. Give him the day off and be nice. We'll let her stay. Okay. You notice the sound of battle have started ringing through the castle halls. The main is getting nervous, but you reassure her it's only your underlings roughhousing. No big deal. You know it's probably a hero, but you don't want to upset the main by telling her that. Your army will take care of it. It isn't long before the hero bursts into the room. But... He shouldn't have made it here. Why? Didn't they stop him? The hero just stands there, unsure of himself. He is covered in demon blood. As the maiden speaks to him, trying to explain the situation, you move past the hero and out the door. You're not thinking clearly. Seeing your servant's bodies, pieces all strewn about, your castle is really taking it all out of you. The hero did this? There's so much blood. Why? Did he come for the maiden? Did he think she need rescuing? There is no one for the human to s hero to save here. There was never any harm meant to anyone. You were just talking to her. Why has it all turned out like this? The hero starts bambling insincere apologies and excuses. Realizing his wrongdoing, that you are far beyond hearing the words of bullshit. You have had it with these humans, always murdering your servants for no reason. You can no longer hold yourself back and lash out at the hero. When you regain control, there is nothing left of the hero. The maiden has fled in terror. You are alone. The poor maiden. I feel bad for her. We got a new ending though. So what if... What if we make him diplomatic? Yeah, I do too. 
The Overlord really just wants to be left alone and all this stuff gets brought to her doorstep. Let's see. We'll give them the day off. And we'll make a divergence. We'll tell her to go home. We'll be antisocial. You'd love to have her have all the conversations in the world with your new friend, but having a human girl here will definitely cause trouble. You put your mean face and tell her to get lost. But the main turns out to be very stubborn. You don't want to tell her, but you also really want her to leave in case something bad happens. This whole situation is just asking for trouble, you think? <laughs> yeah. The forehead eye has so many good expressions in this game. <coughs> Excuse me. Against your better judgment, you let her hang out for a little while longer. You enjoy a nice long chat with her, sharing stories about your kind. She expresses her surprise that demons are not at all what she expected them to be. <laughs> well, what do you want to call it? Oh, it's Amy! I couldn't even tell it was you. I can't really read the names very well here. Welcome! I didn't know you were here yet. I mean, we could call it her... Her extra... Her forehead eye. <laughs> I mean, we could call it that. <laughs> yeah, come on in. You might recognize this as being the game that Twitch thought I was streaming for the last two years. <laughs> so... You were glad that she seems to have an open mind about these kinds of things. Well, here's the thing. So I, I, I upped the, the, the number that you were helping me with. And since this game doesn't have a bunch of like fast movements and it's already pixelated, it, it works just fine for the stream. So I can stream this game just fine at home, luckily. You also bring up how you always instruct your army to avoid humans and as to not agitate them and get heroes sent out after you. That explains why the people of my village have been left unharmed. It's because of your orders, isn't it? We are very grateful. You're surprised to hear her thank you. You've always thought of humans to be violent and unreasonable. That's why you, your servants, are always getting killed despite your efforts to leave them alone. But this maiden is different. You joke that maybe you've been lying to her this whole time, and that maybe you were super evil all along. The maiden laughs at that, saying she wouldn't mind being held captive here. The people in her village are a little exhausting at times, she says. You can't tell if she's into you or not. You're interrupted by another human in your doorway. This time it's a hero. He was apparently searching for the Maiden, who was rumored to have been captured by your kind. Captured? Not at all. I only wanted to meet with the Overlord. Didn't anyone read the note I left behind? After everything is explained, the hero expresses his relief that this whole misunderstanding hadn't led to any horrible consequences. The Maiden apologizes for causing trouble, and the hero asks her to return to the village with him. Confusing feelings while up inside your heart. You're surprised that you had one of those to begin with. You don't want the hero to take the maiden away from you. <clears throat> he will. Let them go. You're certain that she'll return to spend more time with you. You just have to little trust in that, you decide. With the hero and maiden gone... You plop down into the comfort of your luxurious overlord bed. Your room feels empty now. Is this loneliness? You hope your new friend will be back soon. You close your eyes for a while. Until the dorm slams shut. Before you know it, everything around you is being engulfed by flames. What's going on? You try to escape, but something's blocking the door. 
You're having trouble forcing it open. What is this? Someone didn't want you getting out. Are you being absurd? They have zero foresight. What castle will they rule from if this one burns down? You don't want to believe that your underlings have betrayed you. But this is no accident, those ungrateful bastards. You choke on the thick black smoke from the fire. You can't believe you're being done by a bunch of cowards. You'll see them in hell. That's me, Amy. I panic. I don't want the overlord to die. Somehow everyone has died somehow so far. So let's have... Let's have the overlord be anti-social. And be diplomatic, maybe. We're gonna play as the maiden, maybe. Actually, let me check the tree. <clears throat> So, so, we have the, the, oh, the underling have the day off. Okay, we told the maiden to go home, but she didn't listen to us. Actually, we might need to play as the maiden right now. So, let me do that quick. You are a maiden. You live in a peaceful village next to a spooky demon overlord's castle. You are told by everyone that you are fated to be captured by the overlord one day because you are a beautiful young girl. Demon overlords apparently love capturing those. You think of how you haven't heard of that actually happening to anyone, but maybe the demons just haven't been given the opportunity? Who knows? You are in church. You pray to your god, asking why you have to be born into this role of maiden. You respect the divine plan and all, but you're really just curious as to what the point of it is. You are impatient. Meeting a demon actually sounds pretty gosh darn exciting. Maybe you'd understand your role better if you were to just hurry up and get captured already. You'll leave a note and venture forth to find a demon just to, you know, see what happens. Not long into your little adventures, a demon underling appears before you. It looks pretty scary. You're going to be polite and introduce herself. You tell the demon your name and explain that you're a maiden from the village. You tell them that you were thinking maybe you could understand your role better if you were to hurry up and get taken away by a demon already. The demon doesn't seem to have really been listening to you, which is a little irritating. What do you think of the bestest boy, Cerami? He's just a little cute little boy with a smug smile enjoying his flowers. They agree to take you to their master nonetheless. After a long walk to the castle, you are introduced to the overlord. He is small. He is adorable, though. You explain why you've come, and she squints at you. Turns out she never had any plans to capture the maidens or to do anything else that would agitate the humans. You wonder for a moment if she might be lying, but it really doesn't seem like it. Still, this doesn't make any sense to you. You've always been told that demons would one day seek you out, and something awful would happen. Then a hero would come to rescue you. You don't want to believe you've been lied to all along. Maybe it's just that you haven't been maiden-like enough. You ask the overlord what you should do to be a more suitable maiden, but she doesn't seem to understand. Just go home and stop worrying about destiny so much. She makes it sound so simple. This overlord seems like a complete opposite of you. You want to learn more about her and how she thinks? She insists on staying to talk with you more. The overlord tells you again that you should get lost. How rude. You just got here. We are going to obey her and leave. I mean, technically, the Maiden is, because if the Maiden never visited the Demon Lord, that would be something the hero would never have to come to the castle for. The only thing is, the her underlings would overthrow her without their interve intervention anyway. But yeah, I agree, she kind of is. We're gonna obey. You don't want to cause any trouble, so you figure it's time to go home? Along the way, you encounter a hero. 
He asks you what you're doing. Don't you know the Overlord's castle is like right there? You explain everything that happened. The hero seems to think that you're lying to him. Yes, if you've been brainwashed by the demons. What nerve. You are very upset that this so-called hero would treat you this way and leave in a huff. You return to the village alone. Everyone was very worried about you. They surround you with a thousand questions and you tell them your story. As you explain that the overlord never had any intentions to harm anyone there, you notice that the looks of uncertainty in the crowd. People are whispering things to each other while you speak to th them. You are loudly interrupted by an old, older man. He rudely calls you a demon sympathizer. The crowd is slowly growing unruly. You don't understand. You've only told them the truth. Do they not believe you? Everyone begins speculating what must have actually happened. They weave elaborate lies and ask you to prove your innocence. How could you have returned without the aid of a hero? They ask. You could have not possibly escaped the Overlord on your own without harm. You must have been conspiring with the demons, trying to trick everyone into believing they aren't the horrible creatures we know them to be, so they say. Have the people of your village always been this blinded by their fears and hatreds of things they never cared to know? Yeah, that's basically what it is. They're, they're kind of calling her one. You wonder how you missed that before. <laughs> you are seized by the crowd and voices from all sides are calling for public execution. You are to be burned at the stake. You don't want to die. You wonder... Would it have been better to hide the truth? You don't have the thought of that. You've always lived honestly. So why has this happened? Why are you being punished? You hear the dissenting voices of your family, neighbors. But they, like you, are powerless against the momentum. They can only watch as you burn, and you can only feel, you can only cry for them. And you are so, so sorry. Man, that one's sad. <laughs> so a full many, so many bad endings. So I wonder what will happen to the hero. <laughs> yeah, the townspeople are ruthless. You are the hero. You are like to think of yourself as a pretty reliable and swell guy. <laughs> well, they didn't head to the castle of my own will. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> Your life has been rather ordinary, aside from the occasional heroic adventurous fighting evil monsters and whatnot. You were told a maiden from your village has been kidnapped and is likely being held captive at the nearby demon overlord's castle. If only I didn't want to get abducted sooner. <laughs> Who even puts a village right next to the entire demon army hangs out? You don't get it. That's the other thing. If the village didn't like build their village so close to this, it would have taken the the maiden much much longer to even consider that because <clears throat> it'd be so far away. You're happy to protect the townspeople, though you were born to play this role. <laughs> yeah, that's true, Amy. <laughs> you head off on your adventure to rescue the Maiden. But demon soldiers block your path. You could kill them to gain experience. What do you think we should do, Amy? These cookies are really good. We will flee like a coward. Forgetting your pride, you escape with your life. But you can't return home now. Your reputation will be ruined. No, they're not Girl Scout cookies. I got some, um... Some, like, the sugared molasses cookies. They're like, uh, they're kind of like cinnamon-y, almost. 
I have some off-brand Girl Scout cookies. There's a... Uh, and on my snack shelf, I got some, uh... <laughs> you still haven't gotten Girl Scout cookies yet? I don't get Girl Scout cookies, because they, they're not around where I am, and... I live in the country, so they don't come out to me anyway. I just buy these off-brand Girl Scout cookies at, uh, Walmart, and they taste just as good. I like to get the mint ones. You wonder how you'll ever be able to rescue that maiden all on your own if you can't even fight some lousy demon underlings. You'll take your chances at the castle. You're a hero after all, this is your job. On your way to the castle, you spot a maiden heading back toward the village. She c couldn't have come from the Overlord's castle, could she? This may be the exact maiden you're currently seeking to rescue. You approach her with curiosity. You ask the maiden what she's doing. Doesn't she know the Overlord's castle is, like, right there? It's dangerous. The maiden explains that she spoke with the Overlord, and it turns out the demons never had any diabolical plans to harm the village or anyone in it. Ooh. So we could change this. Or... We're gonna say we can't be trusted yet, because I want to see what plays out. We aren't sure you should listen to this maiden. You've been taught your whole life that the demons are evil. You ask if she's sure about all this, but she gets very upset that you think she would lie to you. She storms off before you can say anything else. You decide to return to the village, certain that she must have been the kidnapped maiden you were sent to rescue. Glad you took care of that. You take your time walking home. Job well done today, you think to yourself. As you walk past the town square, you notice the whole village is crowded around. Is that the maiden you saw earlier? She's bound to a wooden stake. The crowd is in a frenzy. Yup, yup. He's gonna return and she's gonna be... on the stake. Yup. <clears throat> the crowd is in a frenzy. Smoke begins to rise, and you stand idly by as flames consume the maiden. She must have done something horrible to deserve that. She seemed nice, though, you think. But evil comes in all forms, you reassure yourself. You decide to call it a day and return to your house, but you can't escape this sinking feeling. Maybe you aren't cut out for this role. Yeah, the, like, they just, like... Yeah. So depending on what you choose, people can be good or evil. Excuse me. We can try going back to the village with the maiden. So we'll believe her story. You have no reason to assume she's lying to you. Even though her story is kind of hard to believe, you feel you should trust her. You tell her you're pretty surprised that everyone has been wrong about the demons all along. The townspeople must be informed of this immediately. How much you want to bet they're going to burn both the hero and the maiden now? The two of you return to the village. They had all been so worried. They praise you for your bravery. But the maiden quickly sets the record straight. There was nothing she needed to be rescued from in the first place. The villagers look to you for an explanation. You politely inform them it wasn't your story to tell. You merely ran into her on the way to the castle. <clears throat> she explains that the Overlord isn't interested in capturing maidens or anything of the sort. The villagers turn to you again in disbelief. They aren't being subtle in how little they trust in this maiden's story. You totally believe her, but to placate these fair citizens, you volunteer to speak to the demon's personality. Just in case. The crowd breaks into hushed whispers. You're too busy thinking of what a great and reliable hero you are to hear what they're saying. The town elder's voice breaks you out of your thoughts. He implores you to meet with the overlord immediately, and says they'll all keep an eye on the maiden until you return. You figure that sounds alright, but the mood is kind of intense for some reason. Did you miss something? You aren't sure what's going on, but 
You get the feeling it might be bad to leave the maiden on her own. But she suddenly takes off running. Oh, you thought the two of you were in this together. Her actions have conceived the crowd that she's obviously been a liar and a witch from the start. People are shouting for you to hunt her and her demon friends down already. But that doesn't sound like a very heroic task. You can't help but feel these people are wrong. It's up to you to catch up to her and talk to the demons in order to clear up this misunderstanding. You violently dash after the maiden towards the overlord's castle. The air becomes dark and thick as you enter deep into the demon territory. Evil miasma? No. You realize it's just normal smoke. You see the maiden ahead, but she's stopped in her tracks. The overlord's castle engulfed in flames. You had only taken your eyes off the maiden for a second, but she's already disappeared. You get closer to the castle, but the smoke is so thick now, you think of turning back. The maiden might need your help, but you can hardly, hardly see. You could be impossible to find. She could have been lying to you all along. Was this a trap? Would it be worth risking your life on this chance? Your legs feel heavy. No. Going in there would be suicide. You'll return to the villagers and tell them there was nothing you could do. You were too late. The maiden was claimed by the demons. Yeah. Yeah, the villagers have a lot of time on their hands. And yeah, this is where the overlord was killed and the whole castle was burnt down. I don't know about that. The the maiden can't be the new overlord if the entire castle is burnt down I me. Mean, there's nothing left for her to rule. <laughs> so... I wonder what her perspective of that is now. <laughs> yeah, I suppose you're right, Emmy. <laughs> Let's see, he's very surprised that demons don't seem to be as malicious as you say they were to believe. Yeah, she could become the new Princess Peach. Who knows how many times her castle's been destroyed by Bowser. The two of you return to the village hoping to communicate this to everyone. They'd all been so worried and are very glad that the hero brought you back. You were quickly to set the record straight. You weren't rescued because there was nothing to be rescued from in the first place. The villager seems confused and look to the hero for an explanation. He tells them he only ran into you on his way to the castle, and that it really isn't his story to tell. You explain to them how you met the overlord and that she's not actually interested in capturing maidens or other mean things like that. The villagers look again to the hero for confirmation. You feel a little miffed that they seem to prefer his word over yours. But you don't say anything about it. Angry Maiden. The hero proclaims that he believes your story, but volunteers to go talk to the demons himself just to make absolutely sure. The crowd breaks into hushed whispers. You hear words like trickery and demon sympath sympathizer being thrown around, which makes you frown. You're pretty shocked that everyone's this hesitant to believe in you. Does the hero even trust you? You aren't sure anymore. An old man implores the hero to go speak with the overlord immediately. He says you should be held prisoner and considered dangerous until the hero returns. Much to your disbelief, the crowd agrees with him. Because of course, if you were conspiring with the demons, they couldn't afford to let their guard down. The whole village would be slaughtered by monsters. The hero isn't saying anything. You'll be tied up and tossed into a cell at this rate. <coughs> if you're going to be held captive by every anyone, it's going to be the overlord, not your fellow countrymen. <coughs> okay, let's see. There's two options here. So we are going to leave on our own first, so we can see that ending. You can prove it yourself without anyone's help. You make a run for the Overlord's castle, leaving the hero behind. 
But as you get closer, you start to notice a tower of black smoke darkening the beautiful blue sky. The castle is engulfed in flames. What in God's name could have happened? You scan the fleeing demons. Oh. But the overlord isn't, a, isn't among them. Against your better judgment, you rush into the burning castle to find her. Oh, so now we know what happened to her. You quickly reach the overlord's room, but the door is tight shut. The handle is too hot to touch. You're too weak to force it open. You pound your fist against the door helplessly. What were you thinking? This is all because you've forgotten your role. Only a hero could pull this kind of thing off. Yeah, so you probably haven't seen it yet, Ami. Um, the maiden's not the one who starts the fire. But I will show you who does because we got to see their point of view for this too. You start to cough. The smoke is too thick. You can hardly breathe. You realize you've got, haven't got too much time left now. You desperately head towards the stairs to save yourself. But the fire spreads faster than you expected. You won't make it outside. You can't help but laugh. What a joke. A maiden saving the overlord? If you just stayed true to your role, things wouldn't have ended up like this. This is exactly the kind of punishment you deserve. You let the demon fire cleanse your rotten soul. Okay. We're getting there. We got 17 of the endings now. I do want to see quickly, before we move on from that, what happens if we bring the hero with us? So we're going to grab the hero and run. You boldly announce that you'll accompany the hero to prove yourself. You'd rather risk what's out there instead of staying in a village that doesn't trust you. No one seems to know how to react. You grab the hero by the wrist and take off before anyone stops you. Yeah, that's the thing. So, now that we're doing this option, we can have that and do the hero perspective and all the other stuff. So every time we get like new stuff like that, it can change the story from everyone else's perspective. But as you approach the castle, you know something's gone terribly wrong. It appears to be on fire. Is the Overlord alright? You have to be sure everyone is safe. You've already taken off before the hero can even think of stopping you. You scan the fleeing demons, but the Overlord isn't among them. Against your better judgment, you rush into the burning castle to find her. You quickly reach the Overlord's room, but the door is shut tight. The handle is too hot to touch. You're too weak to force it open. You pound your fist against the door helplessly. What were you thinking? This is all because you'd forgotten your role. Only a hero could pull this kind of thing off. You start to cough. The smoke is too thick, you can hardly breathe. You realize that you haven't got much time left now, so you desperately head back towards the stairs to save yourself. You're right, the hero got lost. I thought he was gonna, like, try to come help. Yeah, I don't think he's gonna show up. So... With Resolute, let's see what the hero does. We'll leave the story for now. Okay. Oh, this is all new. Whoops. As you stand there, not sure what to do, the main... Uh, whoops. Oh, no. What am I doing? What did I do wrong? Oh, no. Let's see... As you stand there, not sure what to do, the main announces that she'll be going to prove her story to the village. She drags you along with her. She has much better odds with you around, so you don't object. Adventure awaits. But about halfway there, the main, the main suddenly stops. Something's not right. Oh, the Overlord's castle is engulfed in flames. She suddenly takes off towards the burning castle. Panic sets in, and you follow to try to stop her. The smoke is so thick, you've already lost sight of her. What is she thinking? It's too dangerous to continue. You feel hopeless. You stand alone at the castle's gates. Your body won't allow you to take another step forward. No. Going in there would be suicide. You'll return to the villagers and tell them there was nothing you could do. You were w too late. 
the main was claimed by the demons. So I guess he didn't technically get lost. He did try to follow her. It's just all the smoke got in the way. So if he doesn't have the coward trait, it's going to do something. And before I, before I remove the coward thing, I do want to see it from the other two perspectives. So that way we don't have to try to figure out the settings again later. So we'll do the best boy, the underling, the smug little guy. You are a demon underling in service of the Overlord. You aren't particularly strong, but not particularly weak either. That's what your friends tell you. Your job is to guard the castle and keep humans away. It's unbearably boring. He has rarely come all the way here to challenge the Overlord anyway. It's a lot of standing in one place, staring into nothing. You feel like you're gonna go crazy if you don't get a break. You decided to ask the Overlord for a day off. She's surprisingly cool with it? Nice. You set out on your adventure outside the castle. The change of atmosphere excites you. You spend some time rowing around in the grass, wild and free. As you make your way along the path to the nearby human village, you encounter a maiden. She greets you, and she says she has a favor to ask. You consider your options. Okay. So, Amy, I will let you make this decision, because we haven't done... Either one of these will lead to an ending we haven't done yet. <laughs> you want to eat her, or you want to hear her out? <laughs> For context, we are going to do both of these options. It's whatever one you want to do. Okay, we'll eat her. We'll gobble her up. Mains aren't the best meal. But you figure you should live up to your demon name and strike back against the humans. You start devouring the maiden with, without so much as a second thought. I feel quite proud of that. Oh no, she's bleeding. Oh no. Other humans would surely praise you with curses if they were to, around to see. Oh man, if only someone could have been watching. Time to find an audience for your evil deeds, you wander into the nearby village. The people are screaming and running away, throwing rocks at you and whatnot. You think that's pretty neat, or that's pretty rude of them. <laughs> yeah, jump. <laughs> you haven't even done anything yet. Oh, we have more options. You want to put on a show or you change your mind and leave? I'm going to grab more cookie while you decide. <laughs> we'll full sand it then. <clears throat> Kage was saying that earlier for options too. <laughs> You attack the nearest human. He is old and weak. And his bones crunch delightfully. Your audience's scream grow louder. Applause. You think, hey, this is actually pretty fun. I should have taken revenge like this a lot sooner. Okay. Hear me out. That elder deserved it. <laughs> As you continue your bloodthirsty dance striking the villagers down, you fail to notice a sword-wielding hero running towards you. He takes off... You... He, he decapitated him! He takes you out with one swift blow. You're just a demon underling after all. As you die, you think, that was totally worth it. The curtain closes. <laughs> dies and says, man, that was worth it, man. That was great. <laughs> ah, we're getting so many more options now. Okay, let's see. 
So, if we gobble her up, and then we change our mind and leave, what happens? You figure if people are this upset at just the sight of you, they won't fully appreciate any terrible acts you commit. Yeah, he has some decency for himself. He wants them to truly experience his terror. Also, they might fight back. That probably wouldn't end well. You're just one little underling, after all. This little day out has been adequately refreshing. You return to the castle, thinking you'll take a nap. You don't get to sleep long. Your friends wake you up. Rude. One of them is stepping on you pretty hard. You ask them what the deal is. They say they're planning a whole revolution. They're gonna get rid of the current overlord and put a new ruler in place. They want to hear if you're in or out and being a pretty lazy underling. You, of course, reply with, that sounds like a lot of trouble. How about we just skip it instead? Your friends question your royalty, loyalty to their cause. What do you think, Amy? Should we be a part of the cause? Or should we side with the demon lord who was so nice to give us the day off so that we could go chomp on some humans? Cookie is so good. <clears throat> yeah. That's true. That's true. Your friends seem pretty disappointed. They apologize to you. But before you can ask what they're sorry about, one of them suddenly seizes you. Someone who's still loyal to the Overlord really has no place in our castle. You understand, right? Their claws tighten around your neck. You don't bother to struggle. You're outnumbered. You already know how things like this end. This is a pretty messed up thing to do to a friend, you tell them. It's slit your throat in response. Amy, that's you. They got rid of you. <laughs> so... What if... <clears throat> Hear her out. Okay, they got that whole thing. So I think it's about to have new content. They seem to be getting along just fine, so you decide it's about time for a nap. Is this going to be the same thing? Uh, it's the same revolution thing, but it's going to have a different outcome. Sorry, Amy, we're going to take out the Overlord. <clears throat> you tell them you were just joking and clarify that you're totally in it to win it. They say you were always terrible with jokes. Whether or not you actually feel like killing the Overlord, you know what? how bad it is to end up on the wrong side of things. And if this assassination deal doesn't pan out, you can always pretend you were innocent all along. But beneath your shield of fox confidence, you worry about what you're getting yourself into. You follow your friends outside the castle to talk more about the plan. You're curious if they have any idea how they want to go about this. They figured they'd just lock her up in a room and set it on fire. What a stupid plan. That could go wrong in so many ways. You realize your friends are just a bunch of directionless thugs, useless without someone's guidance. Your guidance. There'd probably be casualties if you fought her head on. And while showy death make a revolution a heck of a lot more fun, is probably the wrong way to go. Your friends agree and suggest that you play the assassin. You really didn't want it to come down to this. But you can't back down now. You'll have to be the one to assassinate the Overlord. Besides, no one has any better ideas. You and your friends turn to notice a pair of humans have overheard your entire conversation. They took off into the castle. Are they into the Overlord's room? Fuck. 
The Overlord will kill you for sure if she finds out they were conspiring, conspiring to take her out. <clears throat> you dash into the castle after the humans. Sure enough, the main's already frantically telling the Overlord everything. You shout the humans are liars. Your friend soon arrives to back you up, except they don't instead. They blame you for the whole thing. They cry that it was all your idea, and that they were just going with the flow. Too scared to refuse your crazy plan. You, you can't believe that they told the Overlord such a blatant lie. You always knew better than to trust them. You're the one who didn't have a choice here. You all shout at each other until the Overlord demands silence. Regardless of who led this conspiracy, I have no choice but to punish whoever to keep all of you in your place crushed beneath my heel. She sounds tough, but lately all she does is sleep. You doubt her strength, but... You hear your traitor traitorous friends mutter something about going back to plan A, and suddenly the door slams shut. Yes, so all the colors will mix when certain characters are all lined up towards the quote-unquote canon ending so there's one ending that we have to get to be able to be eligible to get the good ending I think this is probably one of them where we're getting closer I think we're just missing a few colors you're trapped in here with the overlord and the two humans and then the room bursts into flames you pound on the door screaming curses at those who betrayed you the hero joins you vowing to slay the lot of them you wish he'd get that chance. The Overlord grabs you by the throat. You cry for mercy. You are forced into the mess. You're sure now that they would have killed you if you would have sided with her. But the Overlord doesn't hear your pleas. She drives her claws into your chest. At least she made it quick. So we got the traitor ascending again. So I think... Hmm. So I think we should have <clears throat> the hero show up with the underling doing all that. I'll leave those on just in case. Yeah, it's pretty interesting. So let's see if anything changed. We'll grant them the day off, so that way they can go and do their thing. Um, we're gonna tell her to go back home. Okay, you figure you may as well go back to bed now. But you don't get to rest for very long. The maiden suddenly bursts into your room accompanied by Hero. She's trying to frantically communicate something to you, but you're still half asleep. I like all the colors right here, so I think we're finally getting closer towards the final ending. They tell you a group of demons is after your life. You still don't grasp the situation or the urgency of it. One of the underling barges into your room shouting that the humans are liars. They're followed by another group of demons crying that everything was the first underling's plan. Everyone's shouting at each other now, and it's very annoying. You yell at them all to shut their traps. You have no doubt that your servants would let their ambition cloud their judgment and lead them to try to take your throne. Regardless of who led this conspiracy, I have no choice but to punish everyone to keep you all in your place, crushed beneath my heel. Saying that made you feel very overwar overlord like. Yeah, I think we are missing the orange. So I think we just don't have the right settings for him yet. But I think everyone else has their settings. <sighs> you aren't sure if you have the strength to back it up. Though lately all you do is sleep. I love this face. The overlord is so amazing with every single hecking expression. The group of demons start muttering something about going back to plan A and suddenly slam your door shut. 
You, the maiden, the hero, and one of your underlings are trapped inside. In an instant, the whole room is in flames. The underlings pounding on the door, cursing at the friends for betraying them. The hero pounds on the door as well, vowing to slay the cowardly demons on the other side. So this is how you'll die, burning alive in your own room by those you thought you could trust. You should have expected this from a bunch of idiot demons, though. You notice the maiden crying. Why does she have to die over something that has nothing to do with her? Perhaps she was cursed from the moment she spoke to you. You wonder if you're cursed as well. You're so filled with anger and frustration, you don't even notice that you grabbed the underling those traitors blamed everything on. They cry for mercy, saying that they were dragged into this plot, knowing they'd be killed if they took your side. They cry that they didn't want to have to kill you. You almost feel sorry for them. Ooh. So we can change it up for them now. What do you think, Amy? Forgive? Okay. You released the underling. Killing them wouldn't make you feel any better. I'm glad you're on the same boat, Kage. <laughs> if I knew how to do polls, I would do polls for everything, but... It's kind of just faster to just ask ch chat. <clears throat> You release the underling. Killing them wouldn't make you feel any better. Besides, they've already gotten their punishment. You'll all burn together. The Overlord's True End. Okay, so we got one of the true endings. That's good. So now we just... Oh. Oh, we got something different. Uh oh, what's this? Before you're taken back to reset the story once again... You pause for a moment. True end? You say that to yourself. What the point? What's the point of all my effort if the true end is terrible? You must have forgotten where you were. This is bad end theater. Is the pain setting in? Oh, but you should have been well aware of what you've been shown when you entered this place. It's a problem I've seen quite often. At some point, you've grown attached to my little cast. You're starting to relate to their flaws, their plights. You started wishing for their happiness. But aren't you going to find that here, in my theater? My lovely crafted labyrinth of suffering? Anyway, I hope you'll all pardon this interruption. You're making great progress. The choice to continue on to the next ending is always yours. I'll leave it to you, dear guest. I have never seen that guy appear, so that's new. It's interesting. <clears throat> hmm. So we have the Overlord's true ending. Yeah, so we made it to the Overlord's true ending. Uh, we could get the one by choking out our subordinate. <laughs> we are going to take retribution on this day. You pierce their chest with your claws. They scream. The hero backs away. He is wise not to interfere. Well, you know, the hero's got some common sense this time. They've stopped moving, but you keep digging and twisting your claws into them. It doesn't make you feel any better. The underling's corpse burns along with you and the two humans. Okay. So we got about half of the endings now, so we're getting closer. 
we've gotten a bunch of them for the Overlord. <clears throat> um, we should probably play by the Underling when we're merciful. To your surprise, the Overlord spares you. Or maybe she'd rather see you suffer instead. Looking around you, you've just gone from one dead end to another. The maiden is crying, the hero is silent. You'll all burn together. Now here's a question actually. How does a castle that's made out of stone burn? That doesn't make sense. But at least we got the true ending for the underling, so we're getting one more step closer. Ooh, we got another message. No matter the perspective, the true ending remains the same. That's what makes it true. You couldn't resist seeing it for yourself, though, could you? I wonder what would happen when you collect them all. <clears throat> Will you give in to despair, or... Mmm... Could be demon flames, you're right. <clears throat> let's see. So let's view the maiden from that point of view. <clears throat> Excuse me. Obey. Grab the hero and go. Okay. The overlord spares the underling. You feel relieved. Does it make any difference? Well, you all burn together? Well, that was short. Okay. Ooh, we have new options. It can't end like this. Keep collecting bad endings for now. Did it have the orange? It did, okay. <clears throat> well, what do you guys say? You want to... It can't end like this, or do you want to keep getting bad endings? Okay. So we're going to do this, and then I'm going to have to stop the stream, because my dinner is ready. My good old homemade sloppy joes with the good old tang. You want to answer the Maiden's prayers? You've decided to find a way to save everyone. Yeah. But retracting the paths you've seen so far, there doesn't seem to be any room to avoid a bad ending. Is there really nothing you can do to keep them all from getting killed in the end? There's nothing you can do by acting from within their story. Maybe it's time to take things into your own hands. Yeah, my family makes good Slappy Joes, Amy. You probably like it. We got like our own special um, formula where we got, um, we've got uh, the ketchup mustard to get that tang. Then we got some oatmeal oats to give it an extra flavor and help keep the meat together better. And then sometimes we add uh, cinnamon sugar to it. And it, it's super good. I. When my mom makes it, like she's doing for me tonight, once I start eating, I cannot stop eating it. It's so good. <clears throat> okay. So this is interesting. It says everyone's on fire. The hero is burning. Okay. Oh, you want uh, Worcestershire sauce on yours? I don't think I've ever had Worcestershire sauce. Underwing. So everyone's just burning right now, so we'll just choose ours. You boldly insert yourself into the story and use your incredible power to warp everyone to safety. You didn't know you could do that, but what's going on here? Take a moment to get a good look at yourself. You are you. Why are you pitch black? You feel like this body doesn't accurately represent you, but you must move past it. 
Yeah, we got our self-insert, guys. <laughs> self-insert to save the day. The hero, maiden, underling, and overlord have been staring at you, too. They look like they don't really know what they're supposed to do right now. You guess that's because you're usually the one guiding them. What will you say to them? What do we say, guys? Hi, guys. I've come to save you. Actually, let me save real quick. What should we do? You know what? I just thought of a really good idea I could have tried to do. I should have seen if I could have got you guys to come on here with me to do like voice acting so we could make it more fun. That would have been cool. <clears throat> I've come to save you. What do you say, Kage? <laughs> I mean, I'm not the one who killed them. The story is the one who killed them. <clears throat> Do you have a vote you would like to cast, Kage? If not, we will go with Amy's option. Okay. Here we go. <clears throat> you explained to the group that you've been witness to their many terrible intertwining fates. And now you're searching for a good ending. Of course, this makes no sense to any of them. Only the Maiden understands your compassion. My prayers have been answered. You must be... Her god? No. You're merely the player. If there was any god here, they'd be the final boss. That's just how these role-playing games go. Oh, it's meta. <laughs> now you realize what the real true ending must be. <laughs> no, no, no. Enough of this. I admit I've been encouraging you all along, but a self-insert story? <laughs> How passe. You watch helplessly as a tragedy descends from the heavens. You didn't honestly believe you were the only one who could force your way into the stage, did you? I am the narrator, storyteller, god of the world. Call me tragedy if you like. Darkness envelops your party. You don't mind if I send each one of them back to relive one of their many bad endings, right? You are all alone in darkness with me. Tragedy. I sincerely hope you have been enjoying your time in my theater. Though I can't abide you stealing the show without permission. It's quite disrespectful. <laughs> Yeah. What do we do? I'm sick of all these bad endings. I want to see something new. about you guys, but I'm sick of all these bad endings. Something new? I mean, that's all viable too. Okay, we'll go with that one. Are you trying to say my bad endings have gone out of style? You have some nerve. I mean, he probably is still gonna slaughter everyone. You think defeating me might be the only way to see a better ending? It's all that's left for you, isn't it? Well, that doesn't sound like it could be entertaining. Show me what you've got. Time to fight God. <laughs> the stage is set for your final battle against me, the God of this world. What will you do? How will you fight against tragedy itself? I'd love to see it. What do you guys say? We want to attack or we want to defend? We look kind of angry now. I 
Actually, let me save this too. There we go. Should we attack them or should we defend against them? I don't really know what they're going for. Yeah, because I don't know if we want to defend and like not hurt them and try to do like a pacifist run or what? You try closing off your heart to protect yourself, but it doesn't make you feel any better. Oh, is that all? You'll never defeat me like that. <laughs> Wait, let me try that again. I guess we have to attack them. You try your best to tear me down, but you can't seem to do any damage. You don't truly exist in this world, after all. Perhaps you don't understand just how outclassed you are here. Behold my beautiful, tragic tales. I think you were, Amy. <laughs> Doesn't seeing them all again make your heart ache? You've witnessed 22 of my painstakingly crafted endings. Your heart does indeed ache for these characters. How could you want to put an end to all of this? Do you truly care for them that much? They're still suffering backstage, you know. It's a shame they couldn't make it here, to the end of the world. That's right, you came here to save them. You can't do this alone. Oh, we have stuff now. Their HP is infinity. I'm gonna summon this one. You enter the Overlord's room, relieved to see the fire contained to the torches of the walls. When you close the door behind you, the Overlord rises from her slumber. Who are you? Have you come to reside in my castle and serve me? You explain that no, you're not here to serve her. It's more like you've come to do her a favor. You ask why she spends all day sleeping instead of commanding her demon army. She laughs in response. Many of my underwing certainly think I should be more aggressive with the humans, like my father before me. His quest for revenge was endless and self-perpetuating. There's a reason I had to destroy him. You can't help but think it's a little late in the game to be getting some new background, or backstory. <laughs> I have no interest in waging war on the humans. I merely wish to be left alone, to live a peaceful life indulgent life in my castle. You guys, she must actually be very lonely, only surrounded by soldiers instead of friends. No wonder she gets so attached to the maiden. The true end for the overlord suddenly becomes clear. You offer to change her fate. My own attempts at peace have been rather imperfect. If you offer a solution, then very well, I will follow you. The overlord will now fight alongside you. I see. So this is tragedy. Ah, you brought the Overlord. I don't stand a chance now. You've prevented me from attaining peace for long enough. Prepare to die. <laughs> I hope you're prepared to face your death as well. Tragedy attacks with a terrible fate. Okay, we will summon... The Maiden next. Yeah, the sprites are pretty nice. You happen to find the Maiden. As she exits the church, her heart set on meeting a demon. Perfect timing. She approaches you, having already taken notice of your odd form. Excuse me, are you a traveler? I've never seen anyone like you before. You explain that no, you're not a traveler. Well, maybe you are. In a sense, you've come all this way. The men regards you with excited curiosity. Then perhaps you might be a demon? I was hoping I would meet one one day. You think of all the terrible fates that would have happened to bring about? She is the catalyst of this story, after all. And they're calling her out as the main reason. My role as a maiden is to be captured by the Overlord. But you see, I've grown so tired of waiting. You remember this part? She wanted to understand her role better, and so... You ask her what it is that she really enjoys to gain from this. The man is confused from your question. Perhaps it was as simple as wanting to reach out 
reached the place she felt she belonged. The true end for the maiden suddenly becomes clear. We offer to change your fate. If there's something I can do to find a fulfillment, then please guide me. The maiden will now fight alongside you. <clears throat> what is this horrible creature? You wound me, my dear maiden. Is tragedy really such a horrible thing to behold? I remember now. I remember all the awful things you put us through. And this should be familiar to you as well. Tragedy tacks with a terrible fate. Okay, so it looks like we have options for stuff now. Main tries to appeal to tragedy with kindness. So naive. I'll balance your kindness with my cruelty. Oh, I have HP. That's bad. I better summon everyone first. <laughs> you find the hero in his home, hunched over a sewing table. Your sudden intrusion scares the hell out of the poor guy. <laughs> Are you some kind of a demon? You explain no, that you're not a demon. You're, you're... How can you explain it in a way the hero can understand? Instead, you ask what he's sewing. Oh, this? I'm crafting my own hero gear. You sense his pride in his hobby. You wonder if the customers, or the costumes, are what attached him to the whole of Hero. Would you like some clothes? You don't seem to be wearing any. Guys, oh no, we're naked in front of the Hero. What do we do? Yeah, that's the thing. The, the number of endings is my HP, apparently, so I should have probably gotten more of those. You remember the state of your body and decide that, yes, some clothes from the Hero would be nice. Yeah, he is cosplaying. He is overjoyed by your answer. Apparently, his outfits are too gaudy for the other townsfolk, so no one else wants them. The true end for the he the hero suddenly becomes clear. You offer to change his fate. I could make a living as a tailor rather than a hero. Please, tell me what I can do to reach that dream. The hero will now fight alongside you. I agreed to follow you, but I didn't expect to face something like this. The hero has arrived! We really couldn't have a final boss without him. You're the one who's been killing us, murderer. I can't truly call myself a hero until I see you defeated. We'll see about that. Yeah, I don't know if I'm gonna have enough HP to actually fight him. Let's hurry and summon this guy. You approach the gates of the Overlord's castle. The underlower, or the underling is on guard duty, as you expected. They call out to you. The other demon guard is sound asleep. Hey, you're a pretty weird-looking intruder. What do you want? You explain that no, you're not an intruder, although you're definitely intruding into their story right now. You tell the underling you've come to save them from tragedy. Okay, try saving me from the boredom first. I hate this job. Yeah, that's true. The hero just wants to be a tailor. The underling snickers. You ask what kind of job they'd rather do. It'd be best if I didn't have to work at all. I just want to live a carefree life and never get bossed around or picked on. You think of the underling's friends who have bullied them into an assassination plot only to betray them in the end. If they kept a better company, maybe they wouldn't feel so restless. The true end for the underling suddenly becomes clear. You offer to change their fate, so there's a way that we can even work and be fun? Sounds fake, but I'll tag along with you just in case. The underling will now fight alongside you. Wait, what the fuck? You didn't say anything about a boss battle. The underling, hum? You must be desperately, desperate to call on such an unreliable ally. Huh. If I beat this guy up, all my problems will be over. Oh, but it won't be that easy. Okay. So I have six attacks right now. Okay, so I think we need to... Mmm, that might have been a bad answer. Willpower. I see, so I just need 
to use the correct ones. Oh, has violence really been working out for you so far? I'll show you my own brutality. I've run out of HP, no. If you wish to challenge me again, collect more bad endings. Okay. So I think we can do this. <laughs> my bad end. So... I'm pretty sure that we... I think that we can do it. With the HP that we have right now. So we'll just skip the things we know already. We'll summon everyone. I think we have enough HP to actually do something if I don't mess up again. Hey Daichi, we're doing the final boss battle. Okay, so you missed a lot. We witnessed all the major endings we needed to. Yeah, we're fighting God. <laughs> So, willpower is the first one. Let's use hope. The maiden, with hopes of all her heart, oversee tragedy. Um. Hmm. I know the overlord's one is ambition, I think. Ambition. I'll reach my true ending with my own power. The Overlord uses her ambitious nature to overcome tragedy. Okay, there's one left. So it's either mischief or tenacity. I don't know which one we need to do. Hopefully we have enough HP to do whichever one we need. Tenacity. Knock me down and I'll just come back stronger. The Underling uses their tenacity to overcome tragedy. This is it. With everyone's hearts united, you take aim towards your best possible futures. You all unleash one final attack to destroy tragedy once and for all. <clears throat> yeah, we did it. We knocked his HP from infinity to zero. <laughs> You've done it. You've managed to defeat me. A tragic ending for a tragedy itself. Oh, you like my mic? Um, I have a HyperX. So I have like the generic streaming microphone you can get at like Best Buy and stuff. I used to have a Shure SMB, um, but then it broke, so... Yeah, I got a HyperX, I think. A, tra a tragic ending for a tragedy itself. I love it. I must thank you all for fulfilling your roles perfectly. Thank you, Hero, starring as himself. Thank you, Maiden, starring as herself. Thank you, Underling, as himself. And thank you, Overlord, as herself. She looks shocked. <laughs> Enough of this nonsense. We defeated you, so die already. Don't worry, I will be making my exit shortly. Finally, thank you most of all. We couldn't have made it here without you. Yes, my bad end theater did contain a truly good ending after all. I apologize for antagonizing you for so long. I wanted to deliver a satisfac satisfying story. Was I able to do it? I wonder. Guys, are we satisfied? <laughs> this is important. We... Maybe if we lift him up and we reinforce him, he'll turn to good. I'm gonna say I'm satisfied. Thank you, I truly appreciate it. Happy ending shouldn't always come easily. Reality is not so kind. 
But you've earned this one. Here's your true ending. Guys, we can't slaughter him. That's not an option. <laughs> now you guys get to hear the song. There's a special song for the credits. I love this song. The gremlin in me wanted to say no so much. I mean, we could always try to redo it. The code gives it everyone to come to bed and theater. The curtains close. The little is stronger than maybe your break. I thought you saw this pain. Share my misery. Never all eternity. Kindness of suffering. Oh dear, my darling. We got the true ending. That's not all of the song, though, so... Oh yeah, there's a part here. So we can exit the theater. Wait a second. That's not right. Hold on a segunde. Oh, here it is. Oh, so you weren't done with my bad endings, and now you're back for more. You'll have to cancel out your true ending if you want to go back to the way things were before our final battle. Shall we begin with the resetting process? Never mind. Okay. Um, hold on a second. No! We didn't do it. We didn't get the secret ending. Okay, what what it happens if I go to menu? I can't load anything either, dang it. Well, let's reset it for now. You missed out on seeing all 41 men. You can keep your progress. Okay, let's keep our progress. Okay. So... There's actually another ending that's good in here, and we didn't get it. So I'm wondering if I have to get all the endings to make it occur. That or... Before we do anything else, we're gonna do what Ami wanted, and we're just gonna say, uh... We're gonna tell him no. So let's speed through this quickly. See if we can get it quick, cause I gotta hurry. My food's probably gonna get cold soon, and I kind of want my Slappy Joes. I was looking forward to it. I mean, it's not gonna kill him. I don't know what to tell you, but we will try. Um. Okay, there we go. Okay, let's skip all this. We're not satisfied. All the music just cuts. <laughs> well, I did my best. Happy endings should not always come easily. Reality is not so kind. I know, Amy, but I don't want my food to get cold. I could come back and try to stream a little more once I'm done eating. But you've earned this one. Here's your true ending. Okay, hold on. Let's skip this. No! So, we're gonna have to get all the endings if we want the actual true ending, so... That's sad. I thought I had everything for it. Well, hopefully you guys enjoyed. Thank you guys for stopping by. I really appreciate it. <clears throat> that, uh... Hardly... <coughs> hardly lost any frames during the stream, so that's good. But, uh, yeah. I'll have to try to pick this up again. Maybe I'll try doing another stream tomorrow. Um, but it'll depend. So, we'll see what happens. But, with that, I think we're gonna put it to an end for now. <laughs> yeah, that's the bad good end, Kage. There's a good good end, and we just didn't get it yet. So, this whole... 
all the characters and everything line up for an even greater ending where this whole game is like a how do I explain it it's like a it's a synopsis for something that the person this game made had gone through in real life so once we get to that you'll get to have the heartwarming ending so but with that, I'm going to call it here, and I will see you guys next time.